Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I'm not going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, a couple of you asked if I could do a review on all of the new makeup that I've got and especially the eye palettes, eyeshadow palettes, a couple of people asked for it as well. So I'm guessing it's because I did my 80s series and I did a sneak peek of some of the eyeshadow palettes that I've got. So we're going to go through from the start to the finish of all my makeup products that I use, ones I prefer. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. So to start off with, I've got primers. Now the first primer that I ever used was the W7 Prime Magic Face Primer Camera Ready Effect. And I'll just, I'm going to swatch all the products by the way. So I'm just going to swatch it. It's a really weird texture. I'm not sure if primers are supposed to be like that. There it is right there. I thought it was, but then I was watching some YouTube videos and apparently that's not the texture of primer. So, it's cheap though, it's really affordable, so that's what I started off with. Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer, and this is what I use now. And it's obviously a really different kind of texture, as you can see it's the straight one. So this one here is the W7 one, and the one on the other side is the LA Girl one. So you can obviously tell the difference. And the two primers. Anyways, foundation. So, one that I first started off with is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in the shade 010 Light Porcelain. And I'll just do a real quick swatch here of it. There we go. There it is right there. I started using it. I was using it for quite a while, but then I realized that it wasn't my shade. It's not my tone. It's not my it's not the right skin color, should I should say. And so I went into Farmers, which is where I get all my makeup from, pretty much. Either that or the chemist. Or the warehouse. It just depends. But only some things I get from the warehouse these days. Anyways, so I got colour matched. And I got the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter in the shade Sand Beige 210. Now obviously the price difference is quite significant. Um, I think the Rimmel one was like $22.00. And the Revlon one was 48 so it kind of, yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of the price difference. Now the Revlon one is a lot, has a lot more coverage, so I'll just show you the swatches. So obviously the one on this side is the Revlon one, it's like my shade, you can barely see it on my skin. And the lighter one is the Rimmel one, which is the one I started out with, and it's obviously not my shade as you can see. Next is concealer. I've got two types of concealers. Both of them I use. So I've got a Rimmel one and a Revlon one. Both of them I do use. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Skin Brightening Foundation. Sorry, concealer. In the shade 010, nope, sorry, 030, 030 Classic Beige. And this is good if you want to brighten under your eyes. It's really good for under eye brightening. I'll just swatch it real quick for you. So it's obviously really brightening and light. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. That's the, that's why I use it under my eyes. If I want to cover blemishes or pimples as such, I will use the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the shade O2 Light Pale. It is a little bit lighter than the Rimmel one, but it's got the coverage is so much better. I'll show you. Let's do a quick swatch. So these are the two here. Here it is. The lighter one is the Revlon one, and the darker one, the slightly darker one, is the Rimmel one. I use the lighter one on blemishes because it's got a lot more coverage than the Rimmel one, so that's why I do that. Now next is eyebrows. I've got three eyebrow products that I use. First one is the NYX Professional eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown I really I do recommend this it's so creamy and it's really easy to use and it's really easy to rub off if you make a mistake you can literally just rub it off with your finger like that so that's that it's literally just a pencil like that so I do like that one I do really recommend that one I've also got the I'll just use a brush to do this I've also got the Rimmel Browless Way palette you guys have all seen it if you've seen my videos earlier this is pretty much all I use and it's got a wax and on the other side it has a powder 
and this is in the shade 002 medium brown so it's really easy to use really simple I like it a lot anyways my last eyebrow product that I use is the Technic brow gel in the shade medium and all it is is just brown mascara I recommend this so much if you guys have any other products that you want me to try that you recommend just comment down below let me know and I'll try them I'll try and find them if I can um, next is face sculpting highlighting blush bronzing etc so I've got a couple of new products for my face sculpting this one is really exciting this is the essence matte bronzing powder in the shade 01 natural and essence it smells beautiful it smells like vanilla and I cannot recommend this enough it is so good seven dollars nineteen New Zealand dollars seven dollars ninety yeah New Zealand dollars and it's got 12 mils of product which is a lot for seven dollars ninety I'm telling you so it's literally like as big as my hand like if I show you my hand that's how big it is compared to my hand I bought something new I now have the Revlon sculpt and highlight contour kit and it's got uh, guide at the back which is really awesome I really like that and it's got concealer highlighter bronze and contour in it so the concealer is the yellow one on the other side here Ooh, this one here um, I haven't tried the yellow one yet because I concealed this morning before I realized or well, remembered that I had it but it is super pigmented look at that that's like the most pigmented thing I've ever seen so I'm gonna try that in a video maybe next week I'll try that I'll try the whole palette just like in one video instead of using any of my other products. It'll be like a first impression, I suppose. Then this is the highlighter. I did try it this morning. I don't really like it though. It's not, I really like shiny, shimmery highlighters, like glowing. Like this one is just really, like, how would you call it? Really subtle. It's not like, like I'm wearing my normal highlighters now, as you can see, probably. The catch is like, there we go. I'm wearing my normal highlighter so it's really glowy but this highlighter it doesn't really show up much so you like it just like the slightest little glow but that's okay I'll try it next week anyway and who knows it might be buildable you never know and anyways this is the bronze bronzing it looks really nice and buildable kind of looks like the essence one as well if you put them next to each other kind of looks about the same color and then this is the contour, which looks really pretty. It kind of looks a bit grey for my tone, but we'll see. And it says for light to medium skin, and then there's a darker one as well. This was $30, so again, really affordable. I really like it. Yeah, it's, it's just nice all round. Anyways, eyes and lips next. And then I'll show you my eyeshadow palettes right at the end. So for my eyes, I've got two different mascaras that I use. I've got the Technic Mega Lash Water Resistant Mascara, which I really like. I'm wearing it now, actually. Um, I like it because water resistant, because, I don't know, it rains a lot at the moment because it's winter. So it's raining a lot. <laughs> and then I've got the Revlon Mega Multiplier. And I really like this one, but it's really hard to use. I'll show you the wand. The wand is really quite big and like quite bulky like if you look at my eyelashes compared to the wand it's quite big and bulky so I'm like I get it on my eyelids quite a lot compared to the other mascara so I'm not sure how I feel about that and I like it it is it makes my eyelashes really long but that's all it really does okay next is eyes uh, under eyes sorry so I have five yes you heard me five different mascaras no sorry not mascaras eyeliners so I'm going to swatch some for you so this is the clean color mascara just liner um really cheap I think it was like two dollars so I'm just going to do it quick so it's really pigmented obviously creamy but it's not waterproof and it fades away during the day so that's why I decided to move on from that one and then after that I got the LA girl eyeliner in the shade GP 601 black and it's another it's a pencil so it's obviously the bottom one it's slightly darker than the first one and slightly more pigmented but then again it's a pencil um, so I wanted to try like a crayon pencil like that so this is the 
Maybelline Master Drama Lighter, Light Liner, sorry, Brightening Eyeliner in the shade 35 Matte Light White. So this one is really creamy and it's so white. I really like it. There it is there. So you just put it under your eyes and it really opens up your eyes. I only do it if I'm doing wings and I really cannot do wings. So if I get more practice, I'll try. So I really wanted a crayon like that. So I got one. Um, it's the Maybelline Master Liner in the shade Black 1. So I'll just put it next to that. So then again, it's really creamy and pigmented compared to the other ones. And then I wanted to try and practice winged eyeliners. So I got to the Maybelline New York Hyper Sharp Wing. And it's like liquid eyeliner, obviously. And if you turn it on a side it's really thin and then turn on the other side and it gets obviously you can do that sharp bit of the wing so I'll just show you the so it's really dark and it's really obviously liquidy um, I tried it once failed I really need to practice if someone has any tips or hacks as to how to do like a winged eyeliner please help I need help because <laughs> yeah I'm, I've really struggled with it most of it and see all the other ones come off really easy except the winged eyeliner you can still kind of see it on my skin I didn't use makeup remove I just used a makeup like makeup thing anyways next is lips my lipsticks liquid lipsticks normal lipsticks matte lipsticks and lip glosses are all here I have so many of them so I'm just going to go through them real quick because this video is already a hundred years long. Okay, so I'll just go through my lipsticks first. So this is the Shiseido RD715 Rose Crush. My mother-in-law got this for me, and it's the most beautifulest thing. It's not in front of it. It's the most beautiful, beautifulest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It suits my skin tone really well. So I'm wearing it right now. This is it right now. You can see that. So I'll just swatch them on my hand. So it's so creamy and it's just beautiful. Um, this was $56, so a little bit expensive on the expensive side. So that's it there. My next one is a Boohoo lipstick and it's in the shade Mocha. It doesn't have a shade but that's what it said. It's like, and it smells so beautiful, it smells like vanilla. So I'll just swatch that. So it's like obviously like a brown colour. Um, I don't use that one, I don't use that one much anymore, but I really like it. Next lipstick is a clean colour lipstick in the shade 750 Beige Frost, and it's kind of like a pearl colour. I don't know why it's called Beige Frost, but it's like a pinky colour. So swatch it, it's not very pigmented, it was cheap, it was like, I think it was $8. So that's it there, that shimmery colour, it's got a really cute cool pearl essence to it so that's that one and then my last lipstick is the pearl 420 black and this one's really nice as well this is probably my second favorite from the Shiseido one it's like a pearl color the one on the side there that one there so those are pretty much all my lipstick colors um, I really like them I don't know what colors do you think I would suit if you guys think I should get like a different colour of lipstick or recommend a lipstick or a brand of lipstick, let me know. Now I'm going to show you just a couple of things that I haven't shown you yet that I've got as part of my collection. Um, so this is the Get Plumped Lip Plumper by Australis. I've never tried any products from Australis except this one. Um, it's $16 New Zealand. And... I really like it. It works. Like my lips are plumped. Like they work. Um, I haven't posted a picture because I didn't really want to post a picture of my lips being plumped. But just trust me when I say this works. If you guys use Astralis, let me know if there's any other like makeup products by Astralis that are really good that you like. Um, because I would be keen to try out any of their brands to be honest. And then my setting spray. So I've got a couple of setting sprays. So I've got the OXX Cosmetic Setting Spray Rose Ship Oil Vitamin C by OXX, sorry. And I don't use this for setting my face. I just use it for like wetting my brushes because the spritz, like I'll just show you. Did you see that? 
I hope you see that. I hope you saw that. I don't know if you saw that. If you didn't see that, I'm so sorry. But it just is really, the spritz in it <laughs> is really um, patchy. So it'll like get like big patches of water or like setting spray. So I use it to spritz my brushes like when I like need to do my brushes. But the one that I do use is this one here. It's the Master Fix by Face Studio, the Maybelline New York Wear Boosting Setting Spray. This is so good. It will make your makeup last all day and I love it so much. Um, if anyone else can recommend a different setting spray, I will try them maybe one day. But I really like this one. This one is really good. So that's all, well most, pretty much all of, oh, I'll just show you my brushes. This is my, these are all my brushes by the way. I have like hundreds of brushes. Like hundreds. And I've got more coming. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to let me know what your favourite makeup products are. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much all my makeup collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want me to do next in terms of makeup videos. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram. Like my Facebook page. I'll leave that in the description. Um, you can always message me. Click me a message through Instagram and Facebook. I really am open to all of your messages. And I'll be keen on seeing what you guys want me to do in the future. Hope you have a good day. Bye.